we want to bring you some other news stories from here in Ghana and around the world. The Social Security and National Insurance Trust, NIT, has indicated that it exceeded its revenue target for the year 2018. According to the trust, it collected 1.82 billion Ghana cities in 2018 compared to a target of 1.81 billion. The graphic reports that governments collected some 21.3 million Ghana cities in taxes from the use of vehicles with engine capacities of 2.9 litres and above between August and December last year. The amount is 82.7 million Ghana cities or 79.52% below the 104 million Ghana city that was projected to be collected within the period. The projections were contained in the 2018 media budget review. The Ghana Revenue Authority has declared zero tolerance on people who engage in smuggling of goods through the neighboring countries into Ghana. The authorities have vowed to deal vehemently with persons who smuggle goods into the country and deprive the state of needed revenue. The head of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has told the BBC that further extension to Article 50 will hinder growth in the UK economy. Christine Lagarde warned that businesses and investors would remain hesitant in the coming months. Two years ago, Uber was nearly derailed by allegations of sexism and harassment. A damning investigation into its workplace culture and exodus of nearly all of its C-suite now it's poised to make its Wall Street debut. Uber is expected to file paperwork as soon as Thursday in what is likely to be one of the biggest IPOs ever for the technology company. That's it for Business Live tonight. There's some more news on our website at joybusinessnews.com. You can, of course, read the story about an award-winning startup uh, targeting affordable medicine for every African. We also have complete coverage of the IMF Spring meetings there. Uh, we've got the latest stories from there. Big on Joy Business, GRA begins the implementation of fixed exchange rate regime at the ports. You can read more about them on our website, joybusinessnews.com. My name is Daryl Carl. Thanks for watching. We are back same time tomorrow.